What's going on guys, it's Greg Mies for Styles, and welcome to our first review of the new year 2023. We have a lot of products we're going to be reviewing this year. If you have anything you'd like to check out, leave it down in the comments, we'll make sure to. But first up is some new product from Warrior. This is the new Evo QXO2. It's a lot of letters and numbers. And the Evo QXD2, uh, today we're just going to cover the O. Um, so here's the QXO2. I say it in every review, Evolution, one of the longest standing lines. I still remember when the OG Evo came out. Um, I used to look in the Great Atlantic catalog, one of my first heads uh, ever was an Evo. I have a lot of love for the Evo line. It was something I used extensively, so I always love to see a new Evo come out. And this is the latest iteration, so they've gone through a lot of naming, styles. Um, we had the Evo 4, then the Evo 5, which I think a lot of people would consider peak Evo at least in, in the recent era, uh, those were really great heads. And then we switched to the QXO designation, uh, which I think came over from their hockey line. So here it is. Uh, this is the white version. It comes in white and natural. It's going to cost $129.99, which is a high price for an unstrung head. That price continues to jump. Recently, we've seen it go up to $99 for most unstrung heads. Um, you're looking at $130 for this. I don't want to cast stones. The Ion is $119.99, um, but I think a lot of people are going to find um, $130 expensive for an unstrung head, but um, costs continue to rise and prices you can expect will probably continue to rise as well. Like I said, white natural. Um, it comes with this little extra bundle, which is kind of cool. Just take that open. So this is, comes with a screw too, a removable throat plug. So basically you would pop the ball stop out and then pop out a little stopper in there and you can put a throat plug if you feel like you need a little extra security. Also comes with an extra ball stop when you pop it out. So that's a cool little accessory. Um, don't necessarily need it, but it's nice to have the head doesn't fit quite right. Um, and finally, the weight is 4.9 ounces. That is, I think it's pretty much identical to the QX01 and um, still a little bit lighter than like the Evo 5. So uh, you've also got some new styling. Let's just dive in right to what's new here. Um, I think passing through a graphic of what the Evos have looked like over the last couple. I think this is a pretty significant change in style for the Evo line. Number one, looking at the sidewall struts. Let me check my notes because they, they have a name for this. The fuel core sidewall struts. Now honestly, I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what fuel core is. It wasn't explained. And looking at the strut, I don't see anything that screams fuel core. And I really, again, don't know what fuel core means. But I think what they mean is that they've changed the sort of layout of the sidewall struts. So the Evo always had um, a very similar layout. And they've kind of moved this middle strut so it's a little bit uh, less in the center of the two others. And it definitely changes the look. You guys can have your own opinions. In my opinion, I don't love the look quite as much as the original Evo. I really liked what they did with the Evo 5 and the QX01. Um, so it's, it's not my favorite, but it is a little bit of a shift. Um, another thing they did is they've continued to shift the pocket a little bit lower, more towards that mid-low. Um, so this has a side profile, um, maybe a little bit more like an optic, where that low point is a little bit further. And they've also um, tightened the pinch up a little bit. So the Evo, in my opinion, was always one of the slightly wider heads. And I think that's what a lot of people liked about it. It had a pretty gradual pinch. Uh, they've scooted that pinch up and made it just a little bit tighter. So this is probably somewhere between, if you're comparing Warrior heads, like an Evo and a Burn. The Burn was known for that high pinch. And they're just making this a little bit more similar. Uh, got some slightly new styling in the throat. A couple cutaways in the scoop, what they call Simflex, which I think is supposed to help it be a little softer at the scoop to flatten it out on ground balls. And then um, similar to a true temper head, I think some like little rails on the back of the scoop here, maybe to just help with accuracy or smoothness of scooping. Uh, if nothing else, it looks pretty cool. They've got all these cuts. So overall, you've got a slightly new face shape, a slightly new bottom rail design, a little bit of an updated sidewall strut. Um, and they do have uh, the new plastic that's been consistent since the Evo QX01. Um, and it does stay pretty stiff, especially at 4.9 ounces, which uh, is a pretty light weight head, which is what everybody wants. Pretty stiff, pretty light. Um, I strung a pocket into it, has 17 holes. Uh, a lot of people like to see a couple more. Most companies are moving up towards 20. Not a must have, just a nice to have. And I did notice the top ones weren't all that large, so it was a little tight to wrap to, and you definitely wouldn't get three strings through there, but the top strings were nicely distributed and plenty large. So I strung a little bit of a lower pocket to kind of go with the theme of the head they're doing here, which turned out nice. Um, when you string a lower pocket in a head with a higher pinch, it gets to be, the pocket can, can get to be a little long. 
So I think that happened here, but that's actually going to perform really well. It's going to shift up a little bit and down when you're cradling one-handed. So uh, because of that pinch, as far as channel, pocket shape, and everything, I'm really happy with what I got in just one try with a super simple pattern. So while there's a couple fewer sidewall holes, I don't think you guys will have an issue with this. So to wrap it up, uh, this is similar to the QX01, um, just some new styling features. And I'd love to hear what you guys think about the look overall and the changes to Evo. Um, and I've made probably 20 of them now. Uh, so it's really exciting to see where they'll take the Evo line next. Uh, we'll also review the QXD coming up, so stay tuned for that. And again, leave down in the comments what other heads, gloves, uh, cleats you'd like us to check out for this spring season. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you have not, and have a great day.